What's up guys, Prince Charming. Terror taking the odd ones out, times I plagiarized. I have not, or well, I'm not gonna openly admit. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna openly admit to plagiarizing on camera, on the internet. So in case like some, by some weird chance my school follows me and like watches my video sees it, yeah, there's no way I'm openly admitting. But some people do it, that's all I'm gonna say, you know, some people have to do it, just cause like they have to meet like a deadline, or it's just cause it's easier, or they don't know the curriculum, like just those reasons. But I obviously don't encourage doing it, but it happens, you know, it just happens. Some things in life just happen. So don't forget to like this video, guys. Hit me with that thumbs up button right now. Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video. Your boy got a P.O. box, so if you send me something, you're gonna get a shout out in the video, I promise. Lastly, go ahead and comment, when is the last time you cheated? Last time I cheated was in elementary because I acted a little bit more dumber because I wanted to be um, around the girl that I liked. So I actually like did a little bad on my on um, uh, my math. So that will be will be in the same group when working on our math problems, you know. So that's cheating in a way. It's cheating down. Enough of me talking though. Let's go ahead and check out the odds one out. Time to plagiarize. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I almost lost a thousand dollar scholarship because of plagiarism. Oh no! Let's talk about that. <laughs> Plagiarism. Adverb. The practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own. Just the there word plagiarism sounds like a crime. Yep. Racism, sexism, and plagiarism. I'm not here to talk about people who repost my comics, JPEG, cut my name off, and have the audacity to put their own watermark on. Oh, no, 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 wow. Plagiarism. I'm going to tell you about all the times that I plagiarized in school. And, okay, just off topic, I want to address something publicly. I don't go looking through other people's comics and go, oh, this comic's funny. I'm going to redraw it and pass it off as my own. No, I'm not about that life. But some of my comics have been very similar to other people's comics. I read a lot of comics, so it's possible I saw them and then repressed them in my memory and drew them again or it's possible that it's all a coincidence and me and someone else just came that's up with true the same though idea. Come on, that's true guys. all the time with other cartoonists whenever you have you're in that line of, line of work where you have to like constantly be updated constantly you watch like you know new comics new work of art whatnot you repress it in your back of your head and sometimes you recreate it without even noticing so like whenever i guess like tv shows or when you watch like a lot of tv shows and you're like well i have a good idea for a tv show you kind of like repitch everything that's in the back of your head all mixed up together. So it's kind of like you're not stealing, but you're stealing, but you're not. Not just me. Again, I don't purposely take comic ideas and try and pass them off as my own. Whenever people point out that my comic is a lot like someone else's, I get really sad. So oh. you guys should check out these other cartoonists. They're really good. Anyway, I just wanted to say that at the beginning of the video because I'm going to be telling you about times that I actually did plagiarize. But that was just in school, okay? I keep plagiarism off the internet. Isn't that right, Matthew? I cheated a bit. Oh. An occasional <laughs> glance at my partner's desk. Maybe jot down that important equation on my hand. Yep. Nothing too big. I had a math class Everyone where we went that. to lunch in the middle of the class, and whenever we had tests, the teacher wouldn't split the test into two parts. Do, do you expect us not to exchange notes? That is the first cheating time so that easily. I got caught cheating was in ninth grade. And if you stalk me and watch my old videos, you know that I went to a preparatory school my freshman year. And in preparatory school, the amount of work they gave you as kids was just stupid. So cut me some slack. In one class, we had to write an essay about something historical or something, and I chose to write about the Berlin Wall, specifically about people who escaped across the Berlin Wall. Now, I chose this topic because, I don't know if you know this, but there's a National Geographic documentary about this exact topic. So I didn't copy and paste anything into my essay per that's, se. That's it's stupid. It's just I told the exact same stories in the exact same ah. documentary. And okay, so, okay, <laughs> oh god. I remember when it was like a poetry contest where you had to write like a poem, and then if like they like it, you get like a, a cash prize. I actually stole a poem from I don't remember where, but that is one time I did plagiarize. <laughs> I just had to I just had to like say that out because I didn't remember that. But that was in the, that was first grade. Come on, guys, cut me some slack. Okay, I might have wrote some things down word for word, but at least I didn't plagiarize it from Wikipedia. Okay, so I didn't Ooh, copy and paste yeah. anything until I had to write the conclusion of the essay, and I found this article talking about it, and the article said some things that would have been perfect in my essay. So lazy. Control C, Control V. Lazy. I turned it in. I didn't think too much of it but then when i got it back the conclusion paragraph had been highlighted and a c me was written next to it oh. so i had gotten in trouble for plagiarizing the conclusion just the conclusion nothing else to be honest i kind of forgotten that i copied and pasted the conclusion i thought he knew that just I the conclusion of a documentary 
The teacher, who we'll call Mr. Batman, it makes sense if you knew him, he took me outside of the classroom, he told me that it was bad that I plagiarized, and he called my parents that freaking snitch. My parents got mad at me too. He gave me a chance to rewrite the essay, and I remember just being so traumatized and stressed out that night, I kept thinking, what if he finds a documentary and sees that I practically plagiarized the whole essay? I ended oh, up that's rewriting so scary. not only the conclusion, but the whole freaking Good, essay. You better. I turned in the new essay, and I don't think he ever found out that I copied the whole thing. Except, I did just admit it, and he watches my video. Seriously, in April, he emailed me and asked if I was the same James that was in his class. He's the only teacher to ever reach out to me. And even <laughs> after all those years, I still didn't tell him that I plagiarized the whole thing. So, hi, Mr. Batman. Uh, you can't change my grade now, can you? But that was a good experience Probably for me can. To have. It taught me a valuable lesson, because I didn't plagiarize a single essay for the rest of high school. But then community college rolled around. I did community college for a bit because I couldn't afford a university on a Got subway you. payroll. I took honors and AP classes in high school. I was a relatively good student, except I didn't take any of the AP tests. No so when I did. went to community college, I had to take classes that were a step below the classes I took in high school. What a great way to spend my time! Senior year of English, we were writing essays analyzing poetry. Freshman year of college, we were writing movie reviews. And the teacher didn't even That's like so me true. I was a slacker because I was never paying attention. Community college I didn't take is easy. Community college seriously but it was so easy I was still getting amazing grades yeah on the third semester of community college I took a public speaking class now I might be an introvert but I don't have a problem with public speaking that's part of my job now I took the class because it would be an easy a and I needed a communications credit for my major that's the same way it is with me like I am a very like introvert I like to keep to my individual self but when it comes to public speaking I'm kind of good at it like I'm good at publicly speaking in crowds speaking in front of people I'm just good at speeches I I guess it has to do with my YouTube. I guess I'm more used to talking on camera to like a fictional big audience, so I'm not really as scared as I used to be. I wanted to be a math teacher, and you may not have noticed, but they publicly speak all the time. So I take Teachers. the class, I'm like the best person in the class, right? And for the final, we had to give a persuasive speech in front of everyone. Oh, and by the way, I didn't learn like any tricks to help with public speaking. The whole class was literally just us giving speeches to each other over and over. So three semesters of doing easy classes and wasting my time, my apathy meters were just off the charts. I didn't want to work too hard, so I chose to do my speech on why we should get rid of the penny. And I don't know if you know this, but there's this YouTube video made by CGP Grey that makes great arguments on why we Americans should get rid of the penny. Again, I didn't copy and paste anything per se, it's just the speech I gave had the exact same arguments in the exact same order as CGP Grey. Okay, it was pretty much a one for one recreation of his whole video. I'm yeah. sorry, I thought we were getting graded on public speaking, not writing original speeches. The teacher caught me, I guess she's a fan of CGP Grey, and gave me a zero on the final. So I what are the odds? A D in the class, and that was the worst grade I got in community college. Part of me was like, <laughs> whatever. I don't, I don't care. This next semester, though, I wanted to go to a real college. And still trying to be economical, I found that it was actually cheaper for me to go to an out-of-state school than to go in-state. At this school, they gave scholarships to out-of-state students who had high enough GPAs and enough credits. It would have saved me thousands of dollars. And I had family living in Smart this state, idea. so that was another reason why I wanted to go to that school. But here's the thing. Even with that D, I still had a high enough GPA to get the scholarship. But since I failed, it didn't count as a credit, so I ended up being one credit short for what was required. Oh my gosh. Thousands of dollars. My options were either stay home and do a one credit semester of community college or beg the university to give me my scholarship anyway. During Christmas, my family visited the state oh school. Oh So me and my dad got the chance to go to the school and basically talk beg about him. getting the scholarship. We talked to five different people. Now that's public speaking. I had to use my persuasive talking skills that I would have learned. And all of them were telling us there's nothing we can do. Yeah, that's all. The one lady, she was telling us the same thing about not being able to do anything. She looked at my transcript. She said, oh, you failed public speaking. She looked at it for a bit. She typed something on her computer. She printed out a piece of paper and handed it to me saying, it's okay, I'm not good at public speaking either. She, oh! <laughs> public speaking! She thought I failed because I was insecure. Or something oh my because I did something wrong. Oh, uh, Lucky. Yeah, I'm, I'm just terrible at speaking to the public. So really, there was something you could do. Never, never give up. A lady wearing a lot of eyeshadow took pity on me. But I only ended up staying a semester and a half at that school because my YouTube kicked off. And now I'm doing that full time. 
But I'm still thankful I got That's the scholarship. Dope. I hope my public speaking teacher could see where I am now. I speak in front of millions of people for my job. I mean, I can't see them and I'm just reading everything off a script in my closet. And I didn't get punished for plagiarism. I didn't learn my lesson. And I didn't learn anything in your class. What an amazing story. At the end of the day, he still got the scholarship. It was because she felt bad for him. He thought it was because he wasn't good at public speaking, but it was really because he cheated. And because he got a zero, it was costing him to get a D. That is one of those situations where you're just like, wow, one credit means everything. Oh, you will never, ever believe it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to apply from Shirley Prince Charming. My name is Prince Hawkins.